Hello artists! Today we're going to start some landscapes in the style of Heather Goller, who was a folk artist, which we talked about in class. We need your name on a piece of paper and your class. Notice I have newspaper underneath and it is open. And hide your name on the back side. Then we will have Sharpies. Size may vary. Mine is huge. And you're going to make a landscape. We are not worried about mistakes and we're not drawing too many itty bitty teeny tiny details. First mission, well one, this needs to be landscape view for your paper, so it's laying down. And we need a horizon line, the line that separates the ground from the sky. So that should be up kind of high. It could be straight, it could be kind of wavy. That is your personal choice. After the horizon line, we're going to divide the space down here into smaller sections. So we start at the horizon, I'm coming down. Now on the left, I want to angle towards the left. On the right side, I'm going to angle towards the right. And then repeat. And then if I have something in the center, it'll come straight down. It makes it look like things are coming towards us. If you go left on the left, right on the right, and towards the center and the center. And we can also break these up into further pieces. And notice I'm stretching my line so they're touching another line or touching the edge of the paper. And up here at the top, we can add your own personal details. So you could add, maybe you want a barn, and you could show it so it looks flat or make it 3D. I'm going to make mine 3D. So I'm drawing the front, then I'm putting in some horizontal lines from the roof and from this first line segment. And then draw the back. You don't have to draw a barn. Maybe it's a house. Maybe you have no building. I'm going to add some Heather Guller style trees and it's okay if they fall off the page. So often her trees are ovals with nice straight trunks. You can show overlapping. My oval is falling off the page. And sometimes she would add little curly cues inside the tree for detail. You don't have to do that to all of them. Just pick a few. And she did like to draw the sun radiating in the background. So I'm going to make a sun. You don't have to have one. I'm just choosing to have one. I'm drawing some lines that are bumping and jumping to show my sun. Maybe I'll add another tree over here. Does yours have to look like mine? No, it does not. So I will have other ideas up on the board to inspire you. And I think I want to add part of a fence back here. It's going to follow the hill just to make it a little different. 